Howdy Beast Nation, General Draggers here with uh, another video on Outward Mindset. Uh, last time we talked about uh, mission focus versus a blame focus. Uh, this time I want to talk about self-deception. You know, the, uh, one of the books that uh, kind of got me on this path is Leadership and Self-Deception. I thought it was kind of a strange title and uh, it's been an interesting, uh, interesting concept. It's uh, actually, self-deception is a philosophical concept and, uh, and it's, it's rooted in some deep psychology and it's a pretty in interesting ideas. Um, and, and it kind of gets us to this idea of a toxic leader. You know, actually, I, I don't like the phrase toxic leader. Uh, unfortunately, it's inaccurate and it, sometimes it can relieve the accuser of the responsibility of being precise uh, about what the behaviors are that are causing the problems or maybe in some cases for even owning their part in the relationship. Um, and I've also found that uh, when I look at folks that are being accused of being toxic leaders, sometimes those leaders don't know that they are. And that should be a little scary for all of us. I know it is for me. Because, you know, as we know from Outward Mindset, we all have blind spots. Uh, we're human. And when we're inward, that makes us a little bit blind to some of those blind spots. That's why they're called blind spots. Um, and, and we can find ourselves behaving in ways that can be viewed as toxic. So. Let's think about ways of being inward. For those who've uh, gone through the, uh, the training and the discussions, you know that there's this better than box, this idea that I have to be, uh, that I feel better than others. Well, that can lead to certain behaviors, like someone who comes into a room and they're the know-it-all. Well, when they come into the room and they're in this better than box and they know it all, the problem is they're blind to the value that others add. Sometimes people can come in with a, like the superiority complex, and then they're blind to maybe how they disempower their subordinates. Let's take a look at another one of the ways of being inward, and that's the need to be seen as. You know, some people need to be seen as giving tough love, and those, those leaders may be blind to actually how they're hurting their subordinates. Even though they're trying to do something they believe is right, that's a blindness of theirs. That's a blind spot. Uh, the need to be seen as uh, likable and, and kind and nice. Well, sometimes those leaders might actually be blind to their role in growing others. I know for a fact that that's something that I, uh, I'm challenged with sometimes and it's harder for me to give that firm feedback that needs to be given. Yet that's exactly what's needed in order to improve all of our uh, performance. Sometimes there's even the worse than box and that's where a leader can actually get themselves feeling threatened by a, a various uh, situation. And in those cases, those leaders are blind to the good that others are doing. So having an outward mindset, though, can help us get out of those frameworks and can help us actually be aware of some of those blind spots and acknowledge that you have them and then to be able to combat them. And that's the quickest way to be able to fight uh, the tendency for folks to find themselves in toxic behaviors. Now, there's some tools that are out there that can help us check our mindset and, uh, and actually also consider and think about our impact on others. The three questions. And if you've gone through the training, you'll know that the three questions are super powerful. And that first question is, what am I doing? You know, if you're, you're talking to somebody else, that first question is, what am I doing that's making your job more difficult? And then the second question is, would this help if I change doing this? And the third is, can I check back with you on a regular basis to make sure that's working? Uh, a report down. Supervisors, don't be afraid to go to your subordinates and really think through where maybe there's some things that you need to do better as a leader Go to your subordinate and say, hey, you know, I'm thinking that maybe I need to give you a little bit more frequent feedback. What do you think? And you'll be surprised how much your subordinates will respond to that uh, question. And then, of course, there's the influence pyramid. Leaders, before you go out and start trying to change results and change behavior, sometimes you need to work down the pyramid. Sometimes you need to teach and explain. Sometimes you need to listen and learn. Sometimes you just need to build a relationship. And when you do those things, that is what takes you out of the inward mindset, and that's what keeps you away from some of those, uh, some of those toxic behaviors that we may all be blind to. So hopefully, you'll take a look at some of those tools that are out there. Some think about some of those outward mindset uh, frameworks, and check your mindset whenever you're working with folks. And uh, uh, good luck in that journey. I'm on that journey myself. So until next time, when we have a chance to talk again about outward mindset, take care, Peace Nation.